Now we reach to the terrain water calculation. This is the equation that I will use to calculate the rainwater on specific area. Uh, the first uh, parameter, it is a fixed number just to convert between the, the units. The second is the total area per hectare. The third parameter is the, the factor or the flow factor. It depends on the type of surfaces because, you know, the water will go through the uh, soil or to, to the pavement. We will take in our consideration the type of the, of the soil or the type of the surface the water will go through. Uh, and this is, uh, there is a table to take this in our consideration. And the last uh, point, it is uh, intensity of the rainwater. And the, the unit, it will be a millimeter per hour. And how we can identify the intensity of the rainwater? Intensity of the rainwater, there is a fixed or the, the, the equation. Uh, I will use this equation. This equation, it is uh, consisting of four parameters. The first one, A, it depends on the location, where your camp, where you are now in Syria. And there is the other uh, sheet based on the location. You can get the, these uh, fixed figures, A, B, N. I'm assuming I'm here in Jerablus now. And I will uh, design, I will see the intensity of the water. I. A, it is a noun from the table, we will take it. Uh, B is the frequency of the rainwater. And you know, if the frequency increased, the intensity will be increased. I will assume it is two years. T, it is a concentrated time. It's very important to know how we can calculate the concentrated time based on the location. So I have A, I have B, P, I have P, I have uh, N. Just what I need now is T, C, concentrated time. How we can calculate concentrated time? When the rainwater uh, coming, the water need time to reach to the uh, catch basin and need time to reach the first manhole and need time to go through the manhole, uh, through the pipes itself until reach to the final point or outflow. The concentrated time, we called it here TR, that we are looking for. TC or TR is the same. How I can calculate the TR or TC? Uh, it is uh, consisting of three times. The first time, it's the time needed from the water to reach from the farthest point to the first catch basin. This is T1. T2, the time needed from the water to, uh, from the catch basin to the first manhole, T2. T3, it's the time needed for the water to move within the pipe. And as you know, if we have the length of the pipe, and we can start with some assumption. We can say, okay, for the velocity, let's say the velocity within the pipe one meter second, and we have the length. And we need the time to be bare minutes. We need here the time to be bare minutes based on the equation that I'm using, based on the, the fixed figures, I need the time to be bare minutes. So I will divide on 60. So T3, T3 will take into consideration the, uh, the length of the pipe and we'll take the velocity within the pipe. We can start our assumption with one meter per second to get T3. Back to our uh, formulas or back to the, our sheet, we reach it to the here, we reach it to the supposed velocity, meter per second. Let's say one, for the first pipe, let's say the, the velocity in the first pipe uh, link it between manhole 1 and manhole 2, it is 1 meter per second. And let's calculate the time needed, the time needed, T3, T3, within this pipe. Look to the equation. It is the uh, accumulative length divided on the velocity. You will take time. And I need it per minutes, so I divide it on 60. Look, this is the same for the others. Now, how we can uh, calculate TR? From the experience or from the, the, the reference I, I, I'm working on, uh, they sub, they're assuming that time 1 plus time 2 will be between 5, five to 15 minutes. 
and I will take here 10 minutes. In my uh, example here, I will take 10 minutes. So T1, the time needed from the rainwater to reach the first catch basin, basin uh, plus the time needed from the catch basin to the first manhole, uh, I will assume the time is about 10 minutes. Now to calculate TR, TR is in TR, it is T, T1 plus T2 plus T3. T3 we calculated already here. And we assuming T1 plus T2, uh, 10 minutes. So uh, TR or considerated time will be like this. You see, this is the TR. Now how we can calculate the rainwater? Now I have A, I have B, I have TC or TR, I have all the, uh, the needed information. I just go to the formula and apply this equation. You can see it is 164 multiply 2, Y2, 2, it is 2 year because I'm assuming my the rainwater, it is uh, uh, repeated uh, every 2 years. Uh, the other, it is uh, clear in my formula. Even this is the TR. Uh, now I, I calculated the, the intensity of rainwater. Back to the main formula. I have the intensity now. Uh, this is the fixed number. I have the area. I, I will assume the, the, the surface factor. The surface factor. I will say, okay, it is, uh, it is 50. Let's say 50. This is graveled let's say, uh, 0 0.5. I will apply this uh, formula. It is 2.78. Multiply the, the surface uh, factor. Uh, it is a graveled. I will uh, assume it will be about 50%, uh, which means 50% of the rainwater will go through the uh, groundwater or the, within the, 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 the soil. And the other will... Uh, we will form uh, the rain, uh, the rain of uh, water. Uh, multiply the uh, the uh, the intensity. Multiply the area, total area. So now I have the uh, I have the rainwater. The total flow. The total flow will be like this: will be the rainwater, the dry water, the unknown water. The dry water, if in the future, if you want to use this pipe for the dry water to uh, discharge the waste water or the gray water coming from the families living in that area, you can take it in consideration. And if you look, it is very small. It will not change the, uh, 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 the results, but you can check the pipes uh, uh, to check the velocity in the dry water uh, to avoid the minimum velocity just. Now we have the total flow. It is dry water, total dry water, unknown water, and the rain water. I have. Now uh, for the slope. The slope will start from the uh, the natural slope uh, between the uh, first elevation and elevation divided on the length. You will get the slope. Now what I have, I have the Q total flow. I have the slope. 